this tutorial will cover the uh, VCA envelope and the filter envelope, um, as well as accents. I'll note in advance, uh, this one's a bit more technical rather than uh, musical. So if you're a creative musician and you don't really want to know what's going on behind the curtain, uh, this may not be the one for you. But for many of you, these details might help you get the most out of the synth. First is the simple VCA decay envelope. This is the exact same envelope from the 303. The 3 o'clock position on the decay control is the fixed 303 setting, which is about 3 seconds. So every time the VCA envelope is triggered by a note event, this decay envelope is triggered with this uh, 3 second decay time. With a typical 303 pattern, uh, kind of fast like this, for example, you mostly hear the filter modulation, and you don't hear the decay of the VCA envelope too much since the decay time is relatively long. Here it is with the saw wave. And here's the square. The Avalon has this VCA decay control that allows it to be adjusted from about 4 seconds down to 0 seconds, in which case the VCA envelope is effectively turned off. Here it is all the way down to an audible. You can see this pattern has some accents on it. One, two, three, four accents or so. So with the Avalon, you can have the accents modulating the VCA without the VCA envelope being used at all. So now you're hearing the accents modulating the VCA only. Now when I turn up the VCA decay, you start getting the normal VCA envelope together with the accents. And they start bouncing along together. Here's the VCA portion. The accent portion. Of course on the 303, if I put the accent at max, and with the VCA decay always fixed, it's going to sound like this. Whereas here we have control over more than just the accent amount. We also have control of the accent decay and the VCA decay. So now on to the filter envelope. Again, it's the same circuitry as the TB303. First, I'm going to turn down accents so that we can hear the filter modulation from the filter envelope only. 
and not a contribution from accidents. The filter envelope is a decay envelope. You have the decay time and the modulation depth, like on 303. So like the VCA envelope, the filter envelope is triggered on all node events. The decay time varies from about 200 milliseconds to 3 seconds. Uh, on the 303, you can't completely turn off envelope modulation. When the envelope mod control is at the minimum position, there is still some modulation depth. On the Avalon, there is an internal setting that allows you to select whether this control retains the TB303 minimum modulation amount, or it allows it to go all the way off. There's also an internal setting that allows you to set the maximum envelope mod amount to be the same as the TB303, or to allow for twice as much modulation depth as the 303. This unit here has the extended load depth so that it can be turned all the way down. On the top end, it has the standard 303 setting. So, independent of the filter envelope modulation amount that hits the filter on all node events, accented notes, a copy of the filter envelope is sent to the VCA, the depth of which is controlled by the accent control. So on the 303, this copy of the filter envelope has a decay time of around 200 milliseconds, equivalent to the minimum setting of the decay control. The 303 has the decay control. And the envelope mod control, the same as the Avalon. However, with the Avalon, the envelope mod control can have the 303 range or extended range. So it's important to know, if you're trying to do a direct comparison of an Avalon with a 303, you probably would first want to set the dip selectors to the 303 settings, or the absolute position of the controls between the Avalon and 303 won't correspond to each other. For example, with the low-range envelope mod depth being able to be turned off, a setting like this would be equivalent to a setting about here on a 303. This is the same for the cutoff control adjustment, which will be covered in a different video. So for accent decay, as mentioned, on the 303 it's fixed, equivalent to the minimum setting of the accent decay control. On the Avalon it's adjustable from about 200 milliseconds to 3 seconds or so, uh, independent of the normal decay setting for unaccented note. I'll briefly add some filter tracking to make it more prominent. So now to review, there is the filter envelope that goes through the filter on all node events, the depth of which is controlled by the envelope mod control, and the decay time of which is controlled by the decay control. Then there is a copy of the filter envelope on accented notes, the depth of which is controlled by the accent control, get is sent to both the filter and the VCA. The copy that goes to the VCA is a slightly softened version of the filter envelope so that it doesn't cause clicks. And the copy that goes to the filter is a slewed version. This is the wow that you get with the 303. And also for which the behavior changes with the setting of the resonance control. Okay, here I'm going to cover another characteristic of the filter envelope. For now, I'm going to put the machine in drone mode. Drone mode is explained in the tutorial covering the modulation envelope. But just to describe quickly, you can open the VCA by setting the VCA depth control counterclockwise. You may have seen in the 303 service notes the progressive offset, or gimmick as they call it, of the envelope modulation behavior on the filter. This gimmick is simply an increasing negative DC offset to the filter envelope as the modulation amount is increased. This is simply because the envelope mod control is referenced to the filter resting voltage. So with decreasing envelope amount, the filter envelope converges to this positive resting cutoff voltage. 
and with increasing modulation amount, the 0 to 10 volt filter envelope converges more towards the 0 volt ground reference of the raw filter envelope itself. You can hear the progressive offset to the filter cutoff frequency with increasing setting. This was done because as you add more envelope mod, you don't want the filter to just keep simply increasing the cutoff frequency as it's not ideal, as it goes out of the musical range of the 303, which is a baseline synth. Okay, so that covers the filter envelope. In the next tutorial, I'll go over the modulation envelope, which has some unique characteristics of its own. Thanks for watching. I know this tutorial is a little bit more technical rather than musical, and I hope it helps you make better use of your Avalon.